Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess, and today I'm going to go over calendars and color coding it. Uh, this comes from a question that someone left me on my YouTube, so if you ever leave me a question, there's a, there's a high chance that maybe I will answer your question, especially as my, my subscribers is low. As I grow, it gets harder to, to keep up, so I'm trying to keep up with all the questions. So I have a question here. Um, they created a color a calendar and they wanted to color code it, but when they did it this old way using JSON and writing it directly with JSON, it left the colors gray. So let me show the new way to do it because Microsoft is changing things so fast. Let me show why some of the colors were gray and then we'll maybe even go into how to improve on this. All right, so we have a calendar. I hope everyone knows how to create a calendar now in the new modern way in SharePoint. If not, feel free to, to you know leave me that question. I can go over that. But we have a calendar, and let's say we want to color code our items here based on the type. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a type field. So we'll just say uh, leave type, right? We don't want to name our column type because it's probably an out of the box field. We want to give it like a specific name, like leave type. So never name your column something that could be default. So we'll just say time off, vacation, unpaid. No one wants to do that. We'll give it a few different colors. All right, so now that we've created that column, what we want to do is go back to my calendar and we need to add that column to the view, right? So we can't just come here, click on calendar view and say format this current view because when we go in here to manage rules and we try and change the value, it says choose a column, but that new choice field is not showing up. This is the big thing that gets people stuck, right? So how am I going to use that choice field? Go in here to settings, list settings, and down here in the calendar view. So this is my calendar view. This is a view I created. You need to add that choice field to the view. So we called it uh, leave type. We need to make sure that's checked and add it to the calendar view. And I'll just go ahead and make this my default view. All right, so now that I've selected that choice field, now we can build uh, that conditional formatting based on that rule. So we'll use conditional formatting. We'll click on the three dots here. Edit rule. Now leave type is here. If it's equal to time off, then we'll change the color to green, right? Then we'll go back. We'll add another rule. If leave type is equal to unpaid, then we'll change it to red. We'll do one more, add a rule. If leave type is equal to, I think I just did unpaid time off, then we'll just say it's blue. All right, so we set up a few rules there. Now let's change our data. So I'm gonna go in here into my data. I'm gonna change this one to vacation. So you can see that it is a dark red, it shouldn't be. Let's double check what's going on here. Time off is green. Unpaid is that red. Let's, let's double check to make sure I did vacation right. So let's go back in here, format the current view. Manage rules. Ah, right here, this needs to be vacation. When it equals vacation, it's green. So just let me fix that real quick. Okay, so now we have different colors in our calendar. So that's the quick, easy way to do it. So let me go over what I used to do before we had that option in the calendar. So I would go to the view and I would say format this current view. And I would say conditional formatting. And I would say when the leave type, oops, clicking too fast, is equal to vacation, change to green. And when the leave type is equal to unpaid, it's red. 
et cetera, et cetera. The same thing we did before when leave type is equal to blue or equal to time off, then it's blue. Oop, purple. All right, so then we would get this conditional formatting. And I would come in here and I would say format the current view and I would say advanced. And I would take this, right? I would take this and pull it into my calendar view. So then I would say format this view. I would replace it and I would say event class and hit save. Right? And so this color coded our calendar. Now the main issue is if you do not have, once again, if you do not have that choice field in the view, it's not going to work. It's going to change everything back to the original color, or in his case, it was gray. So that's where the issue is. So you have to be very particular and you have to make sure that your choice field is always showing on your calendar view. So of leave type. So that's going to color code your modern calendar is making sure that 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 choice field is there and available in your calendar view. So since we're still talking about conditional formatting, I wanted to throw in one more thing. There is a, a very good way to write the JSON um, and that is using ChatGPT. So if you use ChatGPT correctly, and I know there's tons of videos on this, but I just wanted to show how this can help you. You come to ChatGPT, and I'm using ChatGPT version 4, and I would say, you know, can you write a JSON for a SharePoint list conditional formatting at current field when it's equal to vacation? And I'll put that in quotes, just maybe that'll help it. Vacation, time off. Um, and unpaid and change the colors so you can actually come to chat GPT and it's really good at writing JSON now it may not um, write it perfectly every time you kind of have to work with it but um, I really think that if there's one thing that chat GPT is good for it is writing JSON because it's very repetitive code so let's see if this works I'm just gonna take this and it looks like it's only adding one color. So I, I'm, I don't know if this will work, but we'll see what happens. So I wrote a, a code for us. Let's check it out. Let's take it and put it in the leave type. Format this column, advanced. And I'll put this in. So you can see it color coded uh, when it's equal to those. If it was something else, if it's blank, it's not color coded. Let's, uh, let's correct the chat GPT, right? Can you change the color to green if vacation and red if unpaid? And so this is where I think chat GPT is actually very powerful. Um, if you need help writing your JSON, this is something that we can do. And a lot of people are scared of chat GPT is gonna take over their jobs, right? Don't be scared of chat GPT. Don't resist technology. Learn it. Get with it. The new programmers in the world are going to be able to write better queries to AI, right? That's the key. Can we write our own queries to AI and then get what we want out of it? So if I come in here to format this column, hit save. Now you can see that the text is gone, it color coded it, but it hid the, or it's like a gray. Maybe we want the, the font to be black. And then now, can you make the font black? And so being able to query chat GPT, I think is huge. You do have to worry about um, sometimes when it's being used a lot, I am using it on Sunday morning, so I feel like less people are using this right now. Um, but during the weekdays, you can, you know, get bogged down. It might go a little slow. But honestly, even if ChatGPT is going slow for me, you know, it's still faster than me writing all this out myself. And you could Google this stuff if you wanted to. Um, but 
my opinion, this is a very powerful tool. Let's just take this code. Now that we've got it, I'm going to copy it, pull it in. I'll format this column here, format this column. Let's see, it doesn't like it for some reason. Let's please enter valid. So this is actually a good example. It is not a valid formatted code uh, for JSON. So all I did is I told it this is not a valid column formatting. So it said, oh, I apologize, I made a mistake. So let's see if now it corrects the formatting. So if I take it, put it back in, and if it finished, which it didn't, I didn't copy it all. Let me copy it, put it back in. Now it's valid. I hit save. Now the text is now black. So there we go. That shows you that ChatGPT is not perfect, right? It wasn't perfect at first. I told it here, you know, change the font black. The, uh, the, it's not valid column formatting, so it gave me another output. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that, yes, everyone's talking about ChatGPT, but we need to be on top of this. If you're going to be a developer, learn how to query um, ChatGPT, right? One of the big things about being a developer is being able to query Google. The best developers, the best, best coders, the best people, they can ask Google what they want and get the right uh, answer back. It's going to be the same thing for AI, right? We got to be able to ask AI, learn how to ask it, learn how to query it, and get back the information that we want because it's not always going to be correct. But as it gets more and more correct, we'll learn. So thank you all for watching. My name is Andrew Hess. Hopefully this was a helpful video. I went through a couple things, uh, fixed a question, showed you how to color code a modern calendar. The issue was that you, you have to make sure that choice field is in the view, else it doesn't color code right. And then if you really want help with writing your own JSON, just go to ChatGPT. AI is the key to the future. It's not going to overtake our jobs because we're going to use it for our advantage. Thank you. I'll see you next time.